Hello, I'm Natalie. I'm an instructor at Nuffield Health. Welcome to Nuffield Health 24-7. Today we will be doing a pump class. It is a 45 minute session that will sculpt and shape your entire body. All you're going to need is some space, a barbell and some light weights, a bench and a mat if you need it for floor work. When you're ready, let's get started. So we're going to start with the warm up. Grab yourself a barbell if you have that or any light weights that you have at hand. Place your heels directly underneath your hips. Hold the bar a little bit wider than your thighs and pull the shoulders back and down, setting great posture. We can start with a deadlift. Two counts to lower, two counts to rise. So today we're gonna work on tempo rhythms and you'll soon learn all about that in the warm up. All right, give me a three, one, bring it down. Three, two, one, rise. Good, so we're hinging at the hips, so we're driving that butt back, so we can keep a nice long straight spine from head to tail. Good, keep coming, three, two, one, lift. Great stuff, two more. Next move is a dead row. We're gonna take this really slowly first, so bring it down slowly to the knees, bar into the belly button, back to the knees, Rise, knees, belly, knees, faster. Pull the elbows right back. Pinch in between the shoulder blades, opening up that chest. Good. Triple row. So we're going to stay over. Pull for three, two, one. Stand, repeat. Good job, give me two more triples. This gives us a chance just to bring a bit of work into the postural muscles. So we can nail every type of move we do today. All right, we're going to a slow clean and press. So we draw the bar up, capture the shoulders, press above the head, bend the knees as you catch. Release, one more slow. Move a little quicker, one for one. Good, really extend those arms fully. I keep bending those knees so you absorb that weight. Important we keep it safe today. Triple press, the one clean, press three, press two, one. Release, do it again. Good stuff, you've got two more triples. Use, use, use those hips. Good. Hip drive allows you to push that weight strongly. All right, last one. Put the weight into your back, feet outside the hips, single squats. Good, you can ease into that depth if you need. Take your time to get there. We are going to be aiming though, bum to the knee height. Good, two pulses at the bottom. Halfway, down, rise. Good stuff. All right, if you haven't hit a good full range yet, give me some big strong ones, single time. Down, rise. Good, really press through those hills now. Powering yourself up towards the top. Good, eight more big ones to go. Have we feeling warm into those legs yet? I hope so, you got four, three. We're gonna step right leg back, take a long stride back, lunges, two, two. We're gonna alternate. Okay, so quickly switch, down for two and up for two. So my feet are always hip distance apart. That will keep my hips square. Good, now we're lowering that back knee as low as hitting that front thigh parallel to the floor. That's your depth. Front thigh parallel to the floor. All right, it's your last lunge. Stop, heels under hips. And just bring that bar back around and we're gonna start from the very top. Heels under hips, shoulders back deadlift 2-2. Two, two. 
a little bit of a shorter set this round. Single row. Bar into your belly button. Come on, squeeze all those back muscles. One more. Clean and press, no slow one, straight to the quick one, go. One up, one down. Great. Come on, bringing it there for the triple. Come on. Three presses. Come on. Hips. Hips. Three. Last triple. Amazing. Set up for squats. Go. Down. Up. Yeah, I'm getting that feeling today. Are you feeling it? We've got a great workout today, full body. Getting excited? Lunges, two, two, come on, step back. Quick switch. Good, nice and deep, back knee down. Come on, almost towards that floor. Woo. All right, single lunges, alternate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one for eight, and then we're done. Right, bend your knees, pop that weight down, and we're gonna work into chest. Chest and also into back of the arms as well. So basically an upper body workout, which we will now go into. So, second session here. We're gonna start with the hands, narrow, and we're gonna start with a narrow push up for our upper body. Let's go, slowly down and slowly rise. Just get a feel. If you need to bring your knees in closer, feel free to bring your knees in closer. Single. Down, up. Good. You want to hit the toes, you can hit the toes. Why not? Why not hit it early on? <laughs> Good. Two pulses at the bottom. Push up and stand again. Woo. Good. So we're really nailing back of the arms to kick off with but also we'll be working in that chest. Great, singles again. Pushing out through that bench, pushing that bench away from you and fixing those shoulders back and down. Two, two. Good, nice and steady, nice and smooth. All right, and then release, relax. We're gonna hit actually shoulders. So let's switch it up. Get yourself two little light weights. Come and stand up, nice and strong, heels under hips, shoulders back and down. And we're gonna work with two different moves. Here we go, side raise first, and one front raise. One side raise, and one front raise. Good, so the shoulders, are certainly something that's really important when we're doing anything in push-ups or any chest presses perhaps with the bar. So let's get them really strong. Good accessory muscles. Good, no higher than shoulder height. Keep good posture. Come on, we got this. Wide, forward. If you want to make that a little harder, perhaps you've only got light weights, feel free to take the arms long and straight at the side. It will be your choice. Only you will know, right? Keep pumping it up, down, forward, down. Good stuff. All right, so we've been working the side raise and the front raise. Let's put it together. We do what we call a mac raise. So front and side together. One, down, two, down. So it really is just one side raise with one arm and one front raise with the other. Different is on this one is a slight rotation through the upper part of the body. So you've got to keep your hips still. How do you do it? Squeeze through your butt and soften into those knees. Excellent. There we go, front, back and sides. Hey, side raise and front raise. Both arms side, both arms front. Nice, keep coming. Go on, lift the elbows and then lift those weights. 
Looking good. Come on, you got it. Burn up the shoulders. And we're going to hit some wide push ups coming up next. Two more to go, two more of each. So, got your bench? If not, hit the floor. Hands go wide, everybody. Weights down. Knees, perhaps you want to do toes, or perhaps you want to bring your knees closer to the bench. All right, sit the shoulders back and down, and just lean your body weight forward. Ready? Slow. Slowly rise. Good, take your time again, four counts. One, two, three, four. Awesome, two and two. Two counts to the lo to lower, two counts to rise. Good, so we're drawing through the heel of the hands, pushing that bench or that floor away. Three, one, three, two, one. Now I'm gonna suggest you keep your toes down if you're on your knees. And that will stabilize your hips. And I'll tell you what, you're gonna feel this more into that chest, which is what we want. Singles right here. Down, up. There we go, getting that pump on into the upper body. Upper body number one. Good. Right, bring your hands under shoulders. Single tricep push-ups. So a little switch of the hand position. Position of the elbows now tucks in, and we continue to lean forward. Good. Last one, hold. Yes, all right, release it. Good, listen, shake it off. Open up that chest if you need to. Maybe even lift up those elbows. Let's show you your triceps. Hey, looking good. So, upper body is done. Let's move on to our lower body, part one. So, lower body, we're gonna be working into squats. So you're gonna use a bar if you've got it. Whack on a little bit more weight if you want from that warm up, that's your choice. And if you wanna use one heavy weight up to your collarbone, you can do that. All right, so please, if you've got a bar, rest into the meaty part of your upper back. Take your feet just a little bit wider than your hips. And we're gonna move into a nice two-two tempo. Get ready. Here we go. In three, two, one, two, two. Hips are going back. And they're hitting that knee height every time. Full range. Good. Three and one. Three, two, one, and rise. All right, so we wanna hit the glutes early on. You wanna drive those heels down and push those hips forward and squeeze that butt at the top. One, three. So drop quick, up slow. Two, three. Down. One, two, three. There you go, it's a nice squeeze of the butt to the top, right? Good job. Three and one, back to that three, two, one. Up fast. Good. Excellent. All right, singles here. Good, full range. We love a good singles. A little bit of speed, right? Gets that heart rate up. Nothing like it. Two pulses low, we go in, down, halfway, down, and rise. That's it, keep digging the hills, keep digging the hills. Good, stop, bend your knees. Place the bar down if you've got it. Those of us with bar, we're gonna join the rest of you. One weight, just the one. Feet a little bit wider than the hips, they can go wider if you need to. And we're gonna hit singles, front squat. Ready? Drop. Good. Same rules apply, everybody. Butt back, down to knee height, knees wide. And keep that chest lifted, especially with that weight in front of us. Two bottom pulses with the heel lift at the top. Oh yeah, down, halfway, down, heels up. Get those calves working with us. Right, drop down and hold. Slow stand. And again, slam it, hold it, slow rise. You got four more to go. Four more. Whew. 
That's it. Are you bracing as you drop? Come on, dig through the heels. One more to go. And then, time out, right. Weight down, go get that bar back again. We're gonna repeat from the very top from that lower body start up. If you can take your feet a little bit wider, go there. All right, we're gonna hit the three, one. Three, two, when you're ready, join me. One, three, catch at the bottom, slow rise. Good stuff, two more to go. And we're heading back in to the three and the one. So down slow, three, two, one, rise. Good. I'm sure you are nailing it, right? Here we go, singles. Full range, you know the deal. You know what I want now. Wait into the heels, squeeze that butt at the top. Two pulses low, down, halfway, down, rise. Come on, nearly there. Woo, one more. All right, bars down, last bit for the lower body part one. Go get that weight. Come on, you know what we're about to hit. Weight onto the collarbone. Heels a little wider if you need it. In two, 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 let's move. Come on, sweet bit of energy into those thighs, into the glutes. All right, here we go, singles. Start to rev it up with me. Good. Keep driving down, pushing up. Woo! All right, you ready for this? Two bottom half, let's pulse it down. Halfway, remember, what's up? Heels lift. Good, I want you to squeeze your bum on that heel lift. Feel those calves engage. Good, a few more to go here. Yes, yes. Good stuff, right, two more to go. Hey, we've got a drop and a hold. Ready, slam it down, pause. Slow rise. How's that chest? Come on, lift it up. Keep picking that plate up nice and high, keep it right against the chest. Only four more. We're nearly done, lower body part one, nearly over. And let's get ourselves into the next sesh. All right, time out. Woo. Well done, folks. Put it down, stretch out your legs if you need it, heel up to your butt. Woo. There we go. So, great thing to do is to really focus on the bum next, eh? How about that? We're gonna go into lower body part two, which is gonna be mainly on the floor. We're gonna place a weight if you want to. It can be heavy one or you could do it without, not a problem. And we're gonna place this on top of our lap, right above the hips, and just lie back, put the feet close to your butt, heels on the ground. All right, so your glute bridge, are you ready? Bring it up slowly. Hips lift, and then hips lower. Slow again. Drive your heels down hard, so you engage your glutes and your hammies. Good, slow. Beautiful, one more slow one. Ooh. Up quick and hold. And a slow release. Do it again, thrust, pause, down slow. If you want to keep those hips level. And we're gonna hit singles with single leg. So one leg lifts, place it down. Other leg lifts, down. 
Good stuff. So you are driving through that heel on the floor that remains grounded and lifting those hips equally, same height as one another. Unilateral training. Perfect. Eight, seven, six, five, four more big ones. All right, both feet come down, two, two, lift both hips. Up, up, down, down, one more. Push up quick, pause at the top. Good. Come on, keep thrusting. How high can you push those hips? One more. Good, all right, time out, relax. Sit up. Lose the weight if you need to. Come onto both hands and both knees. So we're going into a box position. So hands are underneath the hips, knees are under, oh, hands are under shoulders, knees under hips. We've got a kick up. One, two, down, two. So extending that hip and we're driving up through the heel. So flex that foot and pull that knee back in and under. Good job, you've got four more. Up, up. Think about lifting the belly. Support your lower back and try and get your back nice and long and straight. Good, pulse it for three at the top. One, two, three, release. Good, hips and shoulders are always square. Now give me seven pulses, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, release. Seven. See, don't even need weights for this one, eh? Woo, release it. Stop. Shake it off. Woo, we're gonna hit the other side on that particular move. Get ready, guys. Hands under shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Get ready for your other leg. Kicking up, two counts up, two counts down. Let's go. So we want to avoid any arching that happens when we kick that foot up. So draw the belly in and just be mindful. All right, into the triple pulse. Three, two, one, release again. Come on, we're getting that heel on right into that one, one butt cheek. Nice one for the booty. Good stuff. Give me seven, six, five. Woo. Come on, one more seven. You got it, you got it. Woo, release it. Oh, bash it out if you need to. All right, we're going to be kicking or lifting the knee out to the side. So important, bring your hands under shoulders. Distribute your weight equally into both your hands. So check this out. We're going to lift the right knee out, in, out, in. So welcome to your fire hydrant. Perfect. Let's hit the side of that butt. Triple pulse. Three, two, one. Oh, two more triples. How about seven? Woo. Come on, with this six, seven, release, back up, go on, full seven. Woo. All right, other leg straight in, two and two. Let's lift, left knee. Wow. Come on, I bet you some of you starting to lean over onto one arm, right? Make sure you've got equal weight. Put pressure into both of your hands equally while you do this. Use your core to stabilize you. Triple pulse, go. Yes, come on. Pull that knee further out to the side. Lengthen the top of your leg. 
Hey, you know what's here. You know what you can do. Seven. Come on, stay in. Grit your teeth. You know you got it. Bring it down. Reset. Back up. Seven. Woo! You got three, two, one. Time out. Wow. Back it out. Relax. All right, here we go. So lower body part two is done. We've annihilated lower body massively. We're going to be focusing a little bit um, on everything. So we're going to go into full body part one, which is going to be working bicep curls with lunges. So grab yourself a pair of light weights because we'll be rotating around through the shoulder. So come and stand up for me and just have a little look before we begin. We're going to be combining a lunge with side raises and we will be alternating the legs as we do this. So when you're ready, feet underneath your hips, pull your shoulders back and down, and let's get this one started. Two, two, side raise, lunge. Change legs. There we go. Quick switch between. All right, so let's think about this. It's always a long step back. Back knee goes towards the floor for the legs. Front thigh parallel to the ground. The arms. Bent elbows, stopping just above or just under the shoulder height. Good, stay in control. Keep the shoulders away from ears. Keep the belly in strong. Good, all right, you got one more. And then we're gonna go even slower. Give me a four count. You got four, three, two, one, slowly rise. Hey, that's a burner. Change. Good stuff. Single time. Same move. One, two, three, four, five. Good. All right. After this one, drop and hold and then rotate the arms. Change. Hold it down, lift the hands. So this is so good because we're including lower body with upper body. So even without heavy weight, you're probably gonna start to feel that heart rate push up because you're using multiple amounts of muscle groups. <laughs> Woo! Even that core's working hard. Come on, you got it. Give me two more of these ones, two more. Yes, yes, yes. All right, time out, shake it out. Woo. We can do a kickback. So watch this, the heels under the hips, hinging forward. And we're actually gonna start with the elbows up nice and high. Make sure your weights actually start at hip bones. We're gonna work a kickback. Go, go one, two, in, two going to feel. You want to keep elbow as high as that shoulder. Perfect. So I'm doing this with both hands at the same time. I think it's a little too hard. Do one or the other and that's going to lessen the amount of reps to stay with the load that you have with you today. Good. How about a one three? So you're going to up quick. Go. Down slow. Down slow. Stop at the hip. Push up. Slow, slow, stop with the hip, push up. Good, can you feel those triceps? Back of those arms working. Good stuff, and time. Okay, back into those side raises with those lunges. Take a moment, feet underneath the hips. Set good posture, elbows in. Step back, two, two, side raise and lunge. Change, so we're gonna do a full repeat. Excellent. Pull the elbows further away. Lengthen the top of your arm. Good stuff. Come on. Down, down, up, up. Yes. Pushing through that front heel. Engage through that glute. Give yourself more power, more strength. Come on, full body, full body. Get it all working together, guys. Singles. You in? One, 
two, one, two. Keep pushing through that heel, grind into the floor. Stop and hold and rotate. Yeah, come on, squeeze shoulder blades together. Stabilize those shoulders as you move the hands around. Woo! Hey, good stuff. Keep coming. We've got a few more to go. Just a few. Strength. Sculpt and shape, right? That's the aim today. Stay in, stay in. Breathe for me. Two more. One each side. All right, last one, last one. And then, uh, come out of that. Shake it off. Back into the triceps. Heels under hips. Hinge forward. Make sure you've got a straight back. No rounding. Open that chest at the front. Lock those shoulders back and lift those elbows high and in. Ready? Two, two. Kick it. Back to hips. One last little section to finish this full body track. You got it, you got it. Up quick, go. Push up fast, slow, slow, slow. Beautiful, come on, we've got a few more to go, as always. Two more. Last one. And I'll let you put those weights down. Oh, good. All right, there we go. Back of the arms annihilated right there. Lift your elbow. Get that stretch done since we've just done them. Change over. Good. How about stretching out those legs, all those lunges? Heels to bum again. Big calorie burner. Oh, yeah. Change. Woo. All right, excellent. Take the arm across, maybe on a shoulder stretch, do whatever you need to do. And we're gonna be moving on to our full body number two. So, we're actually gonna start with a bar, if you have one, and then actually finish with a plate. So, if not, two dumbbells, something like that, perhaps maybe even a kettlebell if you choose to, and then later finish with one weight only. So you wanna make this a little bit heavier, perhaps, um, than a warm up, or perhaps keep it as it was for your squats earlier. So let's place that bar into our hands. If you've got it, heels underneath your hips and always holding now into that regular grip, which is a little bit wider than your thighs, a little gap between the arms and the side of your body. Pull your shoulders back, set up great posture and draw that belly right in towards your spine. All right, we're gonna kick off with a deadlift. In four, three, two, and one. Two, two, let's move. So we're rolling that bar against our thighs. I think you're like a paint roller. Paint those thighs with that barbell. Good, super slow. You got four, three, two, one. Let's try it again. Slowly, lead with your chest. All right, keep coming. Good, one more. And we're gonna bring this into single rows. To the knees, to the belly button. Down, pull it, down and rise. Right, really important we were engaging that back. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Pull your elbow as far back as you can. Good, triple row, triple row. Three, two and one. Excellent. All right, clean and press. Ready? We're going to go up nice and quick. Go, catch it. Press it. Catch it. Release. So bend your knees a whole lot. Brace your core as you press. Good. Power. You got triple. Come on, bring the legs in. Three, two, and one. Three, two, and one. We've got two more of those triples to go, guys.
Excellent. Go, go, go. Come on, hips, legs, heart rate up. Woo! Place it down. All right. Grab yourself that one weight. Go for that nice heavier one if you've got that chance. And take those feet a little bit wider than those hips. So they're strong starts. One plate row, one at a time. We're going down. Pull it to the belly. Down. Stand. So you're always hitting that deadlift position. So knees above ankles. Bum to the back of the room or the person behind you. Really squeeze through your back. Good. Two more. And we're going to finish off with a clean squat press. Go. We're going to sit down, press it, down, release. Sit down, press, down, release. Good, good. Come on, it's only four more to go. Four more. Deeper, higher, deeper, release. Can you go one more inch deeper on that squat? Higher on the press. Come on, one more, one more. And release, good. Put that weight down, <laughs> have a little twist. Loosen up, good stuff. We're gonna hit some core just to finish up today. I'm very excited, I hope you are too. All right, so we're gonna lie down. We're gonna start actually without any weights. But be mindful, we might be grabbing a weight later on if you choose to. Fingers to your temples. Lie back. All right, we're going to start with a crunch, two and two. So going up, up, down, and down. Slide your ribs to your hips. Tuck your chin in slightly. Protect your neck. Good. So we're just lifting the shoulder blades off the floor and the lower back remains down. Good. C crunch, so we can include the legs. It's the same tempo. The feet come up as we crunch and then bring everything down together. Good. So as you lower the feet, I want you to concentrate on keeping the lower back down. Good. So you've got to do that by pulling that belly in tighter. Imagine it's got a string against it and it's being pulled and tied around that spine. Woo, you got one more. Feeling it, right? Slow bicycle. We're going to turn and turn. Take your time. One and two. So I'm slightly tapping that toe, keeping the legs bent and pulling that shoulder up and across to the opposite leg. Faster. Let's go. One, two. One, two. Good, and if you choose to, you can extend that leg out at a 45 degree angle. Make that a little harder. Four, three, two, and one. All right, come and sit up. Turn over and come onto your elbows. So elbows are underneath the shoulders. The knees are not under the hips, they're a little further back. Good. Find the toes if you can. Hold it strong, core's tight and look at your hands or at your thumbs. Perfect place to look. We're gonna stomp and stomp. So foot comes up and down, up and down. Good. Lightly tap your toe into the ground. Four, three, two, one, hold. And then release. All right, well done. We're gonna do that again. Lie back, fingers at the temples. Let's head into our 2-2 two -two crunch. No legs. Up, up, down, down. Woo! There we go, getting that burn. This starts to focus our mind onto upper abdominals. That is what you are working right now. Good job. 2-2 two -two C crunch. Bring the feet up and down. And the lower back stays down. Keep it glued to the floor. Four more to go. Always stopping your knees above your hips. Because right now, not only working the upper abs, lower abs. 
yeah. Now we're getting more into it all. Slow bicycle, bend the knees. One, two, one, two. Now this is your obliques. Side of those abdominals, kicking in, faster. Good, you got one and two. One and two, kick it out if you can, nice and long. Now, fast as you can, right here. One, two. Can you hit that double speed? Slow it down if you need to. Feel free to bring it back to the bent knees and keep twisting the upper part of your body. Come on, nearly there. 15 seconds. Obliques, obliques, obliques. You got it. You got it, team. All right, you got three, two, one, turn over, let's hit that plank. Elbows, under shoulders, knees, or on your toes. You ready to add in those stumps? One and two, come on. That's it, squeeze your butt, squeeze those thighs as well. Get your whole body involved. In three, two, hold it and release. Right, last little bit. Grab yourself a weight. You can go as heavy or as light as you need to or even do it without. If you do it without, cross your hands on top of one another. Pick your feet up or even feel free to keep the feet on the floor. We're crunching up and down. Plate pressing into the ceiling. Good. Keep tucking that chin in slightly so that neck doesn't feel like it's being used. Triple pulse, three, two, and one. Excellent, three, two. Come on, we got it, we got it. All right, we're gonna go into the big one. Last bit of work today, 16 pulses, 16, 15. Oh, <laughs> kick it in now, right? Last four. And release. Woo. Well done, guys. Hey, place that weight down by your side if you had it. Give your knees a little bit of a hug. And then sit up. Hey, listen, we're going to be moving into our cool down now. So it's time to stretch, I think, okay? So bring yourself up onto your bum, one butt cheek. And just bring one of your legs in front. Doesn't matter which one. Hurdler stretch is to start with. 90 degrees in both of your knees and just let your body come forward so you get that stretch in your butt. Whew. Yes. Nice. Okay, front leg is gonna step forward. So take a big step forward, come onto that back knee, let those hips push forward so you get that hip flexor stretch and just lift opposite arm to that front leg. Take a nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, take that arm across and turn. Rotate through your upper body. Just nourish the spine a little. And then unravel. Let's try the other leg. So, other foot comes forward in front of us. Bend both your knees. Hands out, tip forward. Just ease into that. How does that feel? Be proud of yourself, yeah? You got it done. You got yourself to work out, incredible. Front leg step forward, hip flexor stretch. Remember hips through, opposite arm up. That's it, you can breathe. Relax those shoulders. The hard work's done now. You can start letting go a little bit. Cross, turn it. Get that rotation. And then face me, put your hands on your thighs, tuck your back toe under, come and stand up. Hold on to something if you want. We're going for a quad stretch, so heel up to your bum. Good, changing legs. Good stuff. Then also hamstrings as well, right? We've got to take the heel in front of us, toe up at the front. 
Hinge the hips. Okay, get a nice stretch on the other leg as well, right? You ready? Oh, change. All that powerful stuff we did today, clean and presses, squat press. It all gets here. And also those glute bridges, right? All that stuff on the floor, pushing those hips up. All right, fantastic. Upper back, open up your shoulder blades, tuck your chin. Chest, open up the arms. Beautiful. Shoulder, one arm across. Other arm across. And let's get that quick eye to you. Band, you're going to take any foot you want. Bring it behind. It's going to be the outside arm. Lifts up and just hinge side on. Get that hip, stick it out to the side. And then quick switch to the other. And that's it today. Ooh. All right. Well done. <laughs> you did it. You made it to the end. Please take some extra time to rest and recover and drink plenty of water. Thank you so much for joining me, and we will see you again soon.